So I think the first question is a real, yeah, uh, logical one, right? This is about the topic of today. What, uh, Rohir, is a uh, demand forecast? Oh, so Ruben, okay, maybe you can take this one. What is a demand forecast? Yeah, so in general, a, dem a demand forecast is, let's say, a forecast for the demand for a certain service or product. Mm -hmm. um, in the context of Albert Heijn, this means that we like to know beforehand how much of each product we're going to sell in all the stores that we have. Um, why is that? Why is that so interesting and important to know? Well, probably as a as a as a customer of us, you know how annoying it is when you go to a store. It's like today, it's like twenty six degrees. You're dying for ice cream, and you find empty shelves, right? So, um, making good forecasts for the demand enables us to make sure we replenish our stores with enough ice cream, for example, but also not too much because bringing too much can damage actually, uh, can, can lead to food waste, of course. And this is something we, um, we like to prevent as much as possible. So at, at one hand, we like to be serve our customers at, as, as, as good as possible by making sure we have all the products available at all the stores at the same time, not throwing anything away if possible. So, uh, this is at least. What is demand forecasting in the context of uh, of Albert Heijn? Of Albert Heijn, right? How did the